hit it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wine World TV, the best wine show anywhere. I'm your host, Mark Fusco. Before we get started, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, click, you know, tell your friends about it. Listen, so I'm doing this really quick here. This is the last of the sparkling wines I reviewed for Thanksgiving and sorry for Christmas and New Year's. This is the Chapuis uh, Champagne, and it is two weeks after I opened it. So it is November 28th. I'll tell you this much. The others, the... El Bajillo and the uh, Maximin Grunhauser. I opened them about a week after everything. They kind of had lost their bubbles. One had, they both had this style stopper, but they didn't have a lot of bubbles to begin with, but they tasted great. They were perfect. Then uh, a few days ago on Thanksgiving, so last Thursday, I did the Cal de Bosco, the French Accorda. I had a different, slightly different style or brand of this stopper but it was perfect, all the bubbles. So let's see how this is before I open it up. You'll see that uh, I haven't drank anything else out of this, so it's still the couple ounce pour that I did. And let's check it out. I'll put a link below to which brand this is. I think it's um, Ant, Anti Victorino's whatever, it's made in Italy. So just like a real champagne bottle, you gotta be very careful when you open it. So keep that thumb there. Boom. I see bubbles. I see lots of bubbles. Same thing with the French Accord. It was lots of bubbles. So let's just check it out. Two weeks later. So has all that bakery stuff going on. The apple. The toasted almond. I didn't have the toasted almond last time, if I remember correctly. It's freaking delicious. So this isn't a full review of this, but it might as well be. This style of stopper is the stopper you keep talking about. Um, I'll put a link below for Amazon. And right now it was around $13 or $12. It had, I don't know if it's part of the Cyber Monday sale, but it's normally around $17. Um, these are my favorite stoppers, period. Now, granted, I said two others were, were used this one and they, they didn't have a ton of bubbles. I mean, one was the 13, so it was already losing carbonation. And I had mentioned that the Al Bajillo seemed to not have a lot of bubbles but they both tasted perfect. I would say normally I would only suggest that you can hold these for a few days, but two weeks later, it's killing it. Plenty of bubbles in there. It works great. I'll have an actual 2023 update video maybe next week or at least the next couple weeks uh, explaining what 2023 is gonna be like for me, but I got lots of stuff happening on my personal professional life I've already alluded to, and I'll kind of go a little bit more in detail about what to expect for the next six to seven months. And uh, that's it. Peace out. By the way, um, real quick, I'm having my hot dogs with this. Now that's a boss move.